What's up, deputies? Officer First 30 Minutes here. Welcome to another LSPDFR live stream. Today, we are patrolling in the middle of a thunderstorm. It's pretty similar to how South Carolina is right now. We're facing a pretty wide range of thunderstorms crossing the state currently. Unfortunately for first responders, police officers, anyone that falls into that category you don't get a day off when it's storming outside you still got to do your job so that is what we're going to do today we're using a new car pack by toy he's created another lsp car pack he says in the mod description he's taken inspiration from the alaska troopers for delivery thus is why we have the black hoods on our lspd cars Today's vehicle is going to be a Crown Vic. It's a 2011. Uh, we're going to start out in Strawberry and see where the patrol takes us today. I don't know if we'll do too much traffic due to the weather conditions. It really depends. Um, they would probably have to be doing something fairly crazy in order, us, in order for us to stop them during this type of weather. That being said, Lincoln 18, go ahead and show me 10-8. And we'll just drive around, probably wait for a call. We'll see if we got anything going on. And our first call of the day is a customer refusing to pay. Establishment owner claims customer is refusing to pay. All right. Of course, this is going to be our first call of the day. Lincoln 18, go ahead and show me responding. 1076 we're not even gonna give code to this call because um, I mean at the moment it hasn't escalated to an urgent response so we'll just drive normally to the scene I believe this is a this would be a typical response I mean um, we'll have to ask Tony in the chat what what would your response be to a call like this you have an establishment owner who's with a customer refusing to pay no reports of violence or aggression just kind of stubbornness obviously it sounds like the owner has called the police to assist in this matter so i'd be curious to hear your opinion on that and we've got a vehicle that just ran into me constable lego thank you for the five dollar donation i appreciate it i'm gonna pull this guy over for uh, running into my vehicle. And then we'll address that call. This is what the bar looks like all lit up. It's pretty, uh, pretty bright. I like that amber color. Let's go ahead and run the plate real quick. Routine, all right, sounds good. We got a Washington plate number is 01 Washington Nora Lincoln 142. 01 William Nora Lincoln 142 no 1099. We're going to be we're still responding to the call. We're just dealing with this individual first. No citations. <coughs> Excuse me. Still a little sick, so you'll hear me cough, but other than that I'm feeling a lot better. All right, ma'am, pulled you over today for running into the back of my vehicle. Can I go ahead and get some ID from you? Carly Red. All right, Mr. Red, hold tight. I'll be right back with you. Um, if I pull back and we don't see any citations, I might just let her off with a warning due to weather conditions. I mean, what do you guys think? Let's look her up, though, first before I get too far ahead of myself age 45 valid license not one it stopped three times what do you guys think uh citation or a warning i'm thinking citation she probably just wasn't paying too close attention to to driving i don't know maybe she was distracted she's been stopped three times in the prior 12. citation citation write her up citation okay it's looking like citation so we'll, we'll cut her a citation real quick 
Citation for careless. All right. Let's see. Uh, careless driving. There we go. Rear end it. Police car. Using the new LSPDFR computer plus. Go ahead and save it. <coughs> it's a uh, sedan. Color is black. All right, citation is written. We'll go ahead, make contact with the driver real quick. Give her this and then uh, respond to that call. All right, left control page up. It's gonna be a $200 citation. 40 days, really fire buff, 40 day misdemeanor in your area, interesting. All right, we're off that traffic stop, dispatch responding to uh, previous call. I'm guessing we're getting the arrow here. And establishment's gonna be on the left. What type of establishment are we working with today? Oh, I see two people outside. <coughs> Looks like this is the Burger Shack. Lincoln 18, show me 1023, we're on scene. I'm gonna make contact with the 911 caller. How you doing today, sir? Care to explain uh, what's happened? Suspect saying, finally an officer. Suspect, officer, they broke the law because my food tasted awful. They're now trying to force me to pay for the rotten stuff. Tell them they can't make me. Uh, let's see, do you have proof of this hair? Yes. Show the picture of the hair and the food. <laughs> All right, I mean, that seems pretty cut and dry to me. A customer received food that had hair in it. He doesn't want to pay. It seems appropriate. Um, Let's go ahead, ID him real quick, just to, you know, verify no warrants out. And if that's the case, we will just uh, let him go. Valid license. Uh, you know, I'm, I missed the point where I think it's L to let him go. Thanks, officer. You've been great. All right. All right. We'll code four off this call. <coughs> There's no crime committed. I mean, it was an argument. And uh, what the heck's going on here, though? All right, we just saw this vehicle flip. Let's get a plate check on this Buccaneer. Plate number is six zero George Zebra Edward one five zero. Target license plate six zero George Zebra Edward. Owner's license is suspended. In traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Drivers, stop the car. Stop the car, driver. Bringing eighteen. Go ahead, show me out on a traffic stop. We're on Davis Avenue. We're right off Davis Avenue. Vehicle occupied one time. Uh, notice the driver running into a, uh, a brick wall and uh, pulling him over for his own safety and for the safety of other drivers on the road. Turn on cruise lights. There we go. I think that's the cruise lights. And I got the spotlight on him as well. No, I I'm suspecting a possible DUI here based on their driving behavior. How you doing today, sir? I'm officer first 30 minutes with the LSPD. Pulled you over today because of your driving patterns. Um, can I ask you, if you, have you been uh, drinking any, anything recently? All right, he's uh, giving me a negative on that. Any illegal drugs recently? No, okay. Let me go ahead and get your ID, sir. All right, we got a Terrence Carter. All right, Mr. Carter, hang tight. I'll be right back with you.
All right, so we're gonna search his name. Um, I'm thinking drunk. He's got an expired license, for one, which, you know, in, in my case, I'd probably cut him a citation. But um, I'm more concerned about how he's driving. The vehicle he's driving didn't bring back any flags. He's got valid insurance, valid registration. So what we're going to do is ask him to step out of the vehicle and go ahead and breathalyze him. All right, sir, I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle. We're going to do a breathalyzer test to determine if you are over the legal limit of alcohol. We're also going to do a drugalyzer test as well. Okay, he's got a little bit of alcohol, not above the legal limit. However, his driving patterns are quite questionable, and we got a positive for cocaine. So he's going to be placed under arrest for DUI. Lincoln 18, show one in custody. All right, let's go ahead and search him. The color on the on the vehicle records seems to be a little off with the new computer system. Um, so when you write citations, you can update it, but I don't I don't know how it uh, determines that. And some <laughs> somehow we're getting teleported into the the car. That that seems to be a common glitch for some reason. I don't quite understand that. All right, sir, go ahead and get in the vehicle. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, since we arrested him, we're going to search his vehicle and call a tow truck to get it impounded. If he's got anything else in the car that might be illegal, it'll be another charge on his record. All right. Uh, he's got a bag of oranges. Nothing illegal there. Let's get the tow truck out here. And we'll probably just take them in ourselves. And we'll go ahead and um, be ten eight once again. Oh my gosh, we got another vehicle running into me. You know, the, the saying is true when the weather is terrible. What is going on? All right, I need backup here. ASAP. I got somebody trying to attack me. What is your problem? Hey, back off. Back off. Lincoln 18 requesting backup. I'm being attacked. What the heck is going on here? Back off. Get on the ground. Look at 18. Got one in custody. We had two individuals just try to attack me. What the heck was your problem, man? We had a good response from back up there. We got one Chris Jackson. Um, we need to shut down this roadway though. You sorry piece of crap. Alright guys, let's let's shut this down. We gotta call EMS here. We got a we got somebody down. What a mess. We'll remove the barriers once he gets removed from the scene here. 
yeah, what a mess. Alright, we got an officer back activating panic line. We're gonna go ahead and respond to that. Lincoln 18, copy that. Show me your responding code 31076. I think an ambulance is stuck. Oh, what happened here? Oh, we got somebody armed. Hey, drop the weapon. Drop the weapon. We got a second individual also with a knife. Why is everyone attacking officers today? On the ground. LSPD on the ground. Drop the knife. Lincoln 18 to show uh, two in custody. Finally, we're getting that ambulance report after seven minutes of calling them. All right, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to check her ID real quick. I might kill my siren. Veronica Tur Turnikova. We've got no active warrant spell license. I feel like I feel like that was a pretty good uh, response there. Good response time. Nothing of interest. All right. We'll be arresting her for assaulting a police officer. Both of them look like they're trying to assault the officer and take his car. I'm sorry, but how dumb do you have to be to try something like that? That is not a smart, smart move on their behalf. Where are we locked out? Are we locked out? This is the right place, right? What? I've never had this happen. <laughs> We're locked out of the police station. Look at this. <laughs> Sorry, we are closed. Here's the corner van that never gets used, hardly. I mean, not the corner van, the transport vehicle. So you got a homeless person. Yeah, this, this is like where a lot of homeless people like to hang out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check on these guys real quick. I see a couple of them have started some fires is a uh, concern so let's let's go ahead and um, maybe ID some of these guys all right who's starting the fires here we can't can't have y'all starting fires you know that that bridge that uh, burned down what was it, a few days ago in Atlanta over I-85 I think they're they're charging actually an, a homeless person who that reportedly, or I should say allegedly, was smoking crack co cocaine under the bridge. And for some reason, a lot of flammable materials might be, might have been PVC pipe was being stored under that bridge. And because of the improper storage and allegedly the fire from this homeless person there was a huge fire that erupted and the bridge, I guess it burned from the heat, it burned the supports of the bridge and the bridge collapsed. So, I mean, it is a concern. So let's go ahead and just get some uh, pet checks on these guys.
We're gonna get back in the unit. Oh, we got a wanted suspect right here. All right, sir, you're, being, you're gonna be placed under arrest. You got warrants out. Go ahead, get on the ground. Police, stop whatever the hell you're doing. What do you know? We got warrants. Lincoln 18, show one in custody. Let's go ahead and search him real quick. And we got a meth pipe, a little bit of drug paraphernalia. Let's go ahead and place him in there. You know, honestly, considering the weather, jail is probably going to be an upgrade for his condition. Alright, um, we're going to check the other one as well. I'm not going to write them citation or anything. It's more of like a warning about the fires and we're also checking IDs. It's been a license. The person's not driving anyway. So they're clear. Alright, uh, we got somebody who had warrants out on them off the street. Go ahead and uh, take them in. We're not going to take them to that last jail because apparently it's closed. So we're going to go over here, probably to Mission Row. Yeah, interior looks pretty good. Actually, you know, knock on wood, my streaming's been doing pretty good. I haven't dropped any frames this stream, amazingly. So I don't know if Twitch upgraded its servers or what. Lincoln 18, copy that. We got reports of vehicles racing in the area. Can be responding code 3, show me 1076. Oh, I love Crown Vicks. I mean, there's a reason they've, they've been in use for such a long time and they're still in use. Even though they're not even um, being made anymore. So, I mean, it really, really shows the, uh, the type of, of quality these vehicles have over long time spans. Relatively cheap to fix. Powerful, fairly reliable. All right, we got a white SUV as our number one vehicle, one suspect, and a brown Enos Coupe. Up oh, here, here's somebody. Here's an Enos Coupe, I believe. Oh, his hood's flying off. Oh, he's bailing. We got oh, we got a passenger just bailed out on foot. I'm gonna continue to pursue the driver. We are um, he just 1050 into a motorcycle. We are northbound Power Street. He is all over the road. Weather conditions are very slick at the moment. He just 1050 into a vehicle, actually. All right, let's get him stopped, boys. Oh my gosh. All right, not exactly what I had in mind. We're crossing the intersection of How Howick Avenue. Vehicle's running into some traffic. Looks like eastbound Howick Avenue now. Speeds of approximately uh, 60 miles per hour. We're now in, heading into East Vinewood, southbound Popular Street. We requested to perform a pit. We've been, been given the go ahead when it's safe to do so. Uh, crossing Vespucci.
Traffic conditions are moderate. Suspect is all over the roadway. Alright, let's see if I can catch up and try to pin them. Uh, we're running into some, to some traffic again. Looks like we got a helicopter also involved in the pursuit. Oh my gosh. Alright, still southbound Poplar Street and Cypress Flats now. Oh, is he gonna get stuck on this truck? The truck doesn't move, it'll be perfect. Keep him there. Oh no, he's slipping through. Box him in, box him in. Stay right there. Don't. Stay right there. Ah, oh, no. Dang it. He's still fleeing uh, eastbound hangar way now. You're not going to get away, buddy. I'm going to try to block the road up ahead, but I know he's not going to stop. Let's see if we can box, box him in. Ah, he's just ramming me. It's a pretty dangerous maneuver. Just trying to slow him down. All right, that, that was ineffective. Just trying to spin him. Trying to spin him around. Box him in. Come on, AI. Let's do this. Let's get him out. Out of the vehicle. Get on the ground. Get him under arrest. There we go. Lincoln 18, show one in custody. Hunter uh, K2437, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the deputy family. Enjoy your chat badge and emotes. Sorry, I had to take care of that uh, pursuit there, but appreciate the support, man. We've got a Healy Woodstone in custody. Foul license, no active warrants. <laughs> Nothing of interest. All right, go ahead, place him in our unit. Uh, we'll also conduct a search of his vehicle. Get in the car and behave. He led us on a pretty lengthy pursuit there. He's in a fairly high-end vehicle. We'll, we'll run a play check just to make sure it's not reported stolen or, or anything like that. But wow, yeah. Fi finally, the AI were able to uh, box him in there and trap him. This Tahoe did a great job. Some sometimes the AI they'll, they'll just get it right. Sometimes. So satisfying. I'm ready for action. <laughs> What's up with the paint job? I'm not too sure. It's pretty, pretty out there. All right, come on. I know, this storm really doesn't stop. It's been thundering the entire time. Fire buff, you gotta pretend, man. 
<laughs> you gotta pretend. It's a it's a raging storm. I don't know what you're talking about. What trainer are you talking about? I'm not aware of any trainers. This is uh this is real life, man. Alright. Let's get a tow truck out here. Here we go. Finally. Thank you for turning off that siren. Yeah, I, right now, currently, I'm getting waves of storm coming in. But it, it's been nothing. Nothing as bad as it, as it is in the game. All right. So we're, we're code four off of that call. Look at all these stars on the map. But, um, you know, if, that, if the lightning hits the right spot, it's... It's game over. All right, Cypress Flats. We got a vehicle. Usual. Oh, we got links to ISIS. Oh God. All right. Um, Lincoln 18. Copy that. We're gonna repair this vehicle real quick through our mobile repair person, and we got a vehicle that's possible ties to ISIS. So we're gonna be responding code three to that for a traffic stop. Lincoln 18, show me 1076. I don't know why these guys are still there. Attention, it's gonna be this baller. Uh, is he gonna flee? Him pulled over, Target running a plate check. We got a bench warrant. With caution. So we're going to be calling him back up on this one. We'll turn on the uh, the cruise lights, provide a little more light. Oh, he's flying. He's flying. Lincoln 18, show us in pursuit of a baller headed northbound El Rancho Boulevard. Traffic conditions are somewhat heavy. Speeds of excess of 70 miles per hour here. He's getting stuck on a truck. Requesting to perform a pit. 100k! Thank you for that $5 donation, man. I appreciate it. I'll read your message here shortly. Let's get this guy caught first. Thought I called him back up. Oh, there's a unit right there. Oh, he just 10 15 in a, into a truck. Oh no no the truck's moving. Get him stopped. He uh, possibly could be armed. We don't know. Vehicle is occupied one time. Headed uh, eastbound Nicola Avenue. Where are you headed? Where are you headed? I used to have a mod that would put in automatic roadblocks, but the author of that mod, Corio, he's not updated it since, um, oh my gosh, he just hit a uh, parked vehicle into the roadway. We are now on West Mirror Drive, speeds consistently staying 50 to 60 miles per hour. It's actually a residence. Or a residential area, I should say. Alright, we're gonna try to pit if we can get close enough. Looks like we're doing a big circle here. Back up. Oh, he just 10 15 into a uh, dump truck. 
He's ramming units off the road. Let's get him, guys. He's running into everything. He's obviously trying to get away at uh, all costs. He doesn't care about anything. Oh, just 1050 into a garbage can. Ah. Still going. He's lost a couple of his doors. Oh, he, he's in the house. He hit a house. Oh, no. What is, this, what is backup doing? Backup. We're southbound West Mirror Drive now. Thought we had him when he went into the house. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just lost control myself. It's really easy to lose control. other cars I know just when I compliment the AI we got the AI slacking we are just doing a ginormous circle oh into the telephone pole I got okay I think I might have them uh, block them in Driver, out of the car now. Out of the car. On the ground. Get on the ground. Don't make any sudden moves. Moving in. Pit was successful, finally. Look at 18. Show one in custody. Woo! That was a long pursuit. Code four off that call. Let's go ahead and search him. Really is a pretty slick out. Let's run his ID as well. He didn't have anything on him. Now this vehicle originally the call was, oh he did have a warrant out. The call was possible ties to ISIS so I'm not sure what we're going to find. Alright my siren is off. Whose siren is on? AI, turn your siren off. We, the pursuit is over. I repeat, the pursuit is over. Oh, I just saw a humongous lightning strike. Oh, we are about to get hit with some storms. This is probably going to be my last call out. We're going to wrap the stream up before I um, die of electrocution coming through my computer and killing me. <laughs> what, what a fitting death that would be. All right, kill the siren. Kill it. We hear ya. We got madness going on. All right, Pol What the heck? He's got a Polaroid of his face marked with a, marked with, wait. He's got a Polaroid of my face marked with a red X. That was a setup, man. He was trying to kill me. What the heck? That is creepy. A receipt, a flashlight. What was he pointing to do? Punch me to death? He didn't have any weapons on him. Maybe he was uh, trying to get some weapons there. Man. All right. Shoot his siren. <laughs> uh, I wish I could. Where is the siren actually located? Is it in the grill? Did I ever get a plate check on this car? I think I ran it. Alright, let's get a tow truck out here. And we're gonna conclude the stream. Thank you guys so much for 
joining me on this stormy patrol. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next patrol.